it is my honor and my privilege to introduce to you uh, the governor of the great state of Oregon, Kate Brown. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I am so excited. I feel like I'm just jumping up and down. Um, it was an incredible honor to ride uh, that first uh, train coming over the, the water. As an East Sider, I think most of you know that um, I'm temporarily living in Salem, um, but my home is in Woodstock, and um, I've been on the East Side for a couple of decades now. And I'm just really excited and honored to um, be able to see this project come to fruition. And I just want to say, um, Olivia Clark is in the audience here today. And uh, we, um, <laughs> Olivia, I can't tell you how hard it was to get this through the 2007 legislature. We really had to fight. We had to twist arms. Um, uh, Olivia probably bought cookies and chocolates, um, but it was a real haul to get this project through the legislature. Um, so Olivia, uh, to my colleagues in the legislature, thank you for doing what it takes. Um, I'm just so pleased to have this project come to fruition. So thank you, Olivia. So as I look at the orange line today, and uh, I'm not taking a position on ducks versus beavers, um, and the entire TriMet system, it's just so exciting to see the transportation project started so many years ago take shape. And I think for me, it's part of the Oregon way. It's local officials, it's state officials, it's our federal partners, everyone coming together. It's Republicans and Democrats, it's urban and rural everyone coming together to make projects like this happen. And these investments in transit are absolutely essential if we're going to preserve mobility of goods and enable people to move around the state of Oregon. And as everyone in this area knows, the Portland metro area is growing, growing, growing. And particularly for those of us on the east side, it's growing very, very fast. And people are moving here. They're attracted by our incredibly vibrant neighborhoods, our incredible natural beauty, our amazing quality of life. And in order to support this kind of growth, we need to invest in a diverse array of transportation modes like inner city passenger rail. We need to invest in freight rail. We need to invest in our bicycle routes and our transit systems. Growth is having a significant impact on the mobility of our residents and our businesses. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier uh, this year in my State of the State address that if you tried to drive between Beaverton and Portland at, I said 3 a.m. at my State of the State address, but I meant 3 p.m. on a weekday, um, you are well aware that, tra that congestion is a very huge problem. So it is absolutely imperative. Our improvements cannot wait and are essential to protecting what we love about Oregon. And our children and our grandchildren deserve continu continued foresight and investment from our generation. Mayor Doyle, that means you and me, right? right. Okay. Especially on the sunset. Especially on the sunset quarter. See these West Siders, they always want to get a word in. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of you here. I think it's great. But it's good for the east side to have its little turn right now. <laughs> so the construction of the Orange Line created 14,000 family wage jobs during the depths of the recent recession. And more than 430 Oregon companies worked on the project, including 131 small and disadvantaged businesses. I think that's great Oregon success. So for me, it's just so exciting to see the investments here. Um, it has really changed the face of the east side. And I am looking forward to the opening of the project in September. I'm hoping I can be around for that ride as well. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you as we continue to meet the needs of 
all Oregonians. So in closing, I want to thank the board and the staff of TriMet. Uh, thank you. It's great to hear that they're the innovators and the national leaders. I also want to thank our policymakers at the federal level, state level, and local levels. I know we've got a number of county commissioners here, uh, the workers who helped build the line. Let's give them an incredible round of applause. And lastly, I want to thank the citizens of the great state of Oregon for helping make this project happen. You guys rock. Thank you.